Welcome to the Virtual Joslyn Art Museum. I'm Annika Johnson, Associate Curator of Native American Art, and today I'll be talking about Roxanne Swenzel's sculpture titled Transformation. It's a visitor favorite at Joslyn, and the first time I saw it, I was absolutely captivated by the liveliness of her sculpted clay figures. This sculpture grouping consists of four Pueblo women, each sculpted individually, who are preparing for a corn or a harvest dance, which Swenzel explained in a letter to the Joslyn is, quote, done in celebration of the year's harvest, but at a deeper level, it's about life, the coming together of all the forces around us that create and make life possible. The title transformation can take on many meanings. The artist explained that in Pueblo cultural beliefs, one moment of transformation occurs, quote, during dances or ceremonies in which drums and singers sing songs of prayers to the entities of the cosmos, asking for life, but also acting as transmitters to give life. The sculpture shows us what we could say the behind the scenes, where the women help each other get ready for this dance. As they put on their attire, they transform into corn maidens or givers of life. You can see on the left, a woman is in full regalia, holding two cobs of corn with her eyes closed, which suggests that she is fully transformed in this spiritual act. Every single article that they wear carries symbolic meaning and links them together. Swensel has spoken, too, about the significance of clay, which you can harvest, shape with your hands, and transform into functional things, like food carriers that help sustain life, or into figures who tell stories that take on lives of their own. Swensel's figures convey such expressiveness. In this sculpture, the women are engaged with each other in the midst of action. Their facial expressions and body language, even flexed and wiggling toes, show us their personality, their individuality. Many of her sculptures feature women and speak to universal themes of motherhood, curiosity, struggle, and joy. Swensel is a teacher of clay arts and of permaculture and sustainability, and she comes from an incredible family of Pueblo artists. Her daughter, Rose Simpson, one of my favorite artists, works with clay and other media to create powerful figures that speak to her own life and the current challenges of our century. The four figures in transformation are individuals, yet part of a larger community. They reflect the knowledge that has been passed down for generations and speak to the continuity of Pueblo cultural values. Thanks so much for listening. Go to our website, joslyn.org, and check out our other online engagement opportunities.